Oh, hello, old ones. It is mid-February, and I'm out in the mountains today with my little 21 pound tent, because I want to see how it does out here. I have tried it before in the woods, and uh, it's a bit questionable. It's probably not a tent that I would recommend for backpacking, but with the right precautions in place, I'm willing to give it a go. So I've got my bivy bag, and I'm not far from my car. This will be fun. My God, it's awful in there. It's just a bit of a hellhole, really. Right. That'll do. Here we are. Couldn't quite get it into its stuff sack from last time. But uh, yeah, beautiful pitch. We'll see how we go. Nice and simple. Poles just go across like that. I remember this being a pain in the bum. Trying to get that in there. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, no. God damn. It'll be dark soon. Yes. Okay. It's in. Oh, amazing. Oh, look at it. <laughs> In. Wow, it looks really bad. I oh, won't lie, look, it's just floppy as anything. But it's up. Look how dinky it is. I think it's only like 1.45 kilos or something like that. Oh, right, let's get set up in here. Blimey, look, we map barely fits in it. All right, where's my sleeping bag? A nice red sleeping bag to match my nice red tent. So this is a two-man tent, believe it or not. I've brought my friend Frank today. So let's have a little look inside and we'll see what room we've got. Go on, Frank. So that's the two of us together. We're pretty cramped in here and uh, Frank's on the skinny side, so I mean, if I scooch my mat right to this side, there would be room for two mats in here, just. That's all there would be room for. There'd be no space for all your gear. Bearing in mind, it's gonna be all your wet gear because there's no vestibule. Everything's gonna be in here with you. Oh yeah. The booby bag is going straight on. This of course will protect me from condensation, which I'll probably have a ton of on the inside of this tent because it's only a single wall tent and it's very cramped. So I'm probably gonna be rubbing up against the sides of it. All right, I feel like there's a bit of order to the chaos now. Nice and chill. It's just under eight degrees. And yeah, I am pretty Marvin. I'm gonna get some tea going. We pitched about 350 meters here. So not too high. This is another problem with no vestibule. It's just gonna blow me gas out. If I put my rucksack here. That was delicious. It is half past seven and this thing is proving to be a screaming nightmare condensation wise already. My down puffy, if you can see, it's damp already. This is the problem in such a cramped little space. Like you're always touching the sides. So it's just a bit icky. So while we're just sitting here with nothing much to do, can't even look at the sky tonight, there's no stars or anything like that. I thought we could have a look at what retailers say about this tent. The Eurohike Toco 2, let's have a look here. Go outdoors, say, a cosy place to rest. <laughs> Certainly cosy, apart from all the water everywhere. Uh, for festival goers or camping couples. Camping couples, could you imagine being a couple in this tiny wet space and an easy pitch design? Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, it says here, Euro Hike Choco is a handy little tent for couples or singles looking for a bit more room to stretch out. My mat barely fits in it. Okay, 
two-person tents can often become stuffy and uncomfortable, but the roof ventilation system on the toko ensures airflow for a comfortable sleeping environment. No. Um, blacks, or well, blacks are selling it for 20 pounds. Looks like I got ripped off paying 21. So blacks say an ideal festival companion or short camping trip tent and the mesh door panel keeps unwanted pests away. Yes, it has got a lovely mesh door panel, but because you don't want to actually be in the tent locked away in it, you're not really going to use it because you just want to sit in a doorway the whole time. Millets. Millets are selling this tent for £28. More expensive at Millets. So again, it says perfect for festivals. Extra storage, yes, it would be good for extra storage. Like a shed, a gear shed next to a really big tent. And then Amazon. Amazon is selling it for 26 25 at the moment. And it says on Amazon, recommended uses are camping and hiking. Oh yeah, and then they've called it a festival tent as well. And then underneath they've said it's a compact, lightweight tent. It is compact and lightweight because it's so small and because it's single skin. That's perfect for backpacking and festival adventures. So reading the descriptions, it sounds all right. It sounds like a nice little tent, but um, yeah, it's just not practical, really. It does have taped seams though, so should keep the rain out. It's a bit of rain. Get back in the hall. <gasps> I've taken to wearing my raincoat at all times now. It's just easier that way. It was pretty eerie up here now in the clag. Before I could see car headlights and stuff going through the valley. And now I can't see anything. Frank and I feel very cut off from the world. It's lovely actually. We're getting pretty tired now so I think I'm gonna snuggle down and we'll see if we'll have a nice cozy restful night in our budget shelter or if we'll be questioning our life choices. Bye guys! somehow managed to have seven hours of sleep so I'm well rested. My god it's awful in there. It's not long enough for me to lay straight out so my feet were pushing on the door area and I think that's let a load of rain in. Christ look at this. I don't know if that's condensation or if it's leaking somewhere. That was dripping. I don't know if the door's leaking maybe. Pond down there. Uh, I don't think that's condensation. What a leak. If I sit up, which I can only do right in the middle, my head's touching the roof of the tent, which is of course wet because the condensation is horrendous. So it's giving me a bit of a neck ache. And because there's nowhere for the condensation to go, it just pulls on the floor. Look. Puddles of condensation. That's crazy. And then if I get sick of being in there, I want to have the door open, the rain just comes straight inside the tent. The doors, which are all wet, hang inside the tent and drip rainwater inside the tent. And then because there's no vestibule, your stove keeps getting blown out. You get wet just trying to make a cup of coffee. It's gone out again. Point, honestly. It's just a bit of a hellhole, really. I paid £21 for this tent, which I think is overpriced, actually. Actually, I think Eurohype should pay the customer, sort of, as an apology. But in all seriousness, I have seen people refer to these little tents as dangerous. 
all camping can be dangerous, all shelters can be dangerous, even my most expensive tents can be dangerous, tarp camping can be dangerous. The act of sleeping outside in weather is inherently risky. Happy, happy breakfast time. But I think the real risk is not the shelter, but complacency and unpreparedness. I think it's more dangerous to go out with like a really expensive hilly thinking oh yeah I'm completely covered it's not gonna break I'm not gonna have condensation you know not having backup gear not having a backup plan I think that's more dangerous in fact than going out in a tent like this and having all the backup gear that you need to be absolutely fine I mean I've done a lot of moaning about this tent but that's because it's inconvenient and uncomfortable and it's not particularly enjoyable to be inside it but I'm completely fine I'm warm and I'm dry and I'm well rested because I'm well prepared for the issues that I might face so I would just say that regardless of the price of your shelter it can still have terrible condensation it can still leak it can still break the poles can still snap so always use a bivy bag always use a dry bag over your stuff always have some sort of cloth or towel or something to mop things up with have a backup plan and don't put all of your trust in one form of shelter this booby bag is absolutely essential in my opinion i mean i've got nothing against cheap gear i started with the cheapest gear i think my first tent was a van gogh sole and it was about 50 quid and i loved that little tent for the kind of camping i was doing when i first started world camping it was fine and I have some amazing memories in that tent and some of my stuff now like this little stove cheap been using it for years absolutely love it because there's cheap gear that's cheap but it's good and effective and then there's cheap gear that's just a bit rubbishy really so yeah read the reviews I guess see what other people are saying about it before you buy them just because it says it's a hiking and a camping tent doesn't necessarily mean that it is. It might actually just be a shed. Frank's well and truly had enough, look. Right. All packed away in there, all dried up. Oh. I'm really grateful for the flag this morning. Kind of disguising me from view. That's about as subtle as a porcupine and a nudist colour, isn't it? Right, let's get this away. Let's go! Thank you, camping place! Oh, well, that was interesting. And I would say if you were uh, looking to get into a world camping, and you're on a budget I would save up for a bit longer and get yourself something a bit more suitable something that's gonna make it a more enjoyable experience for you I mean I don't believe there's such thing as the perfect tent my most expensive tent my hilly I love my hilly but it's heavy has condensation issues also. My MSR Hubber NX, expensive, but it broke in the wind. My Lanchans let all kinds of water in and fall down. <laughs> so it's never going to be perfect, really. Well, it might be in the summer in really nice weather, but I think if you're just starting out as well, dealing with that it might be a bit overwhelming having wet weather outside and then being so wet inside as well just make it easy on yourself and you know what if I had just 20 quid I'd buy a tarp I'd buy a cheap tarp tarp camping is a great way to learn <laughs> about camping safety actually it teaches you pretty quick you need a booby bag need to be prepared 
watching this little video you guys and I'll see you again soon